welcome back to machine learning if you are new to the channel please go subscribe so today's topic is r square in order to understand r square we need to understand few more concepts so all right let's get started so these are the topics which we need to understand before getting into r square least sum of square and variance of sum of square or in other terms variance of fit sum of squares around mean and variance of mean. So let's say we have a salary data set which has two attributes, salary and experience. From the plot, we can see it has a linear relationship, right? The salary and experience do have some kind of linear relationship. Now our aim is to get the best line that can predict salary using experience as the input. Now, how do we find the best line that can fit the data? Now, let's draw a random line on the graph. Now, let's name this line as line 1. Now, I'm trying to find the distance of each point to the line. Now, this distance is nothing but we call them as residual. Now, let's square each residual and add all together that 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 value is nothing but sum of squares now let's say for the line 1 we have we are assuming the value of sum of squares to be 10 or 100 okay now let's take line 2 which is slightly moved randomly and now we are going to perform similar process as we did for line 1 in order to get sum of squares now Let's assume the sum of squares of line 2 to be 70. We again move the line randomly and name it as line 3 and we calculate sum of squares and we assume the value of sum of squares to be 50. So we keep moving this line until we get the least value among all other line positions. So here the line 1 has sum of squares the value of 100 line 2 has the value of 70 and line 3 has 50 so i am considering this line to be the best fit model to predict salary using experience sum of squares we have concluded that line 3 is the best fit to predict salary using experience now hang on this is where the important terminology comes into the play okay so what are we looking uh, while we are uh, trying to choose the best line? We are looking for the lowest value of sum of squares, right? In other words, we can all we can also call it as least squared value. Okay. Now, on what basis are you concluding that the line three is best fit? Least squared value. Okay. But if somebody asks if somebody asks me, uh, what is the percentage or if if I you know if I simplify this question, uh, what is the accuracy of the model? So to answer this question, we we need to uh, we need to get the R squared value. Calculate the value of R squared. We need two major variables. The first is variance of fit. Variance of fit is nothing but least squared value divided by number of data points. Consider the sample size of R salary data has 10 now if you remember the least squared value of line 3 is 50 so 50 divided by 10, by 10 is nothing but 5 the next important variable is variance of mean now further we will discuss about this how to calculate variance of mean but now for now let's look at the formula of r squared r squared is the difference between variance of mean and variance of fit divided by variance of mean now let's see how the variance of mean is calculated now let's draw a line which is mean of salary and now we need to calculate the distance between each data point and the mean of salary after calculating we need to square them and uh, add them all together after adding we need to divide it by total number of data points uh, so that we get variance of mean here we assume that variance of mean to be 17. So uh, after getting variance of mean, 
let's now calculate r squared value okay now it's time to calculate r squared calculate r squared to calculate r squared value to give a conclusion that how good is the line 3 to predict salary using experience now from the given which is variance of mean is 17 and variance of fit is 5 uh, after calculation we get 0 0.70 or we can convert into the percentage that is 70 percent now from the r squared value that is 70 percent now we can conclude that experience can confidently explain 70 percent of variance in salary okay so this is the end of topic for today's uh, uh, r squared value if you do have any any questions please do comment down and don't forget to uh, subscribe the channel if you didn't thank you